What's up boys, today we're showing you guys how to get max defense and rebounding badges right now in NBA 2K23. Real quick before we hop in, make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any more NBA 2K23 tips. We are so close now to 16,000 subscribers so I genuinely do appreciate you guys. So this badge method is actually the best that you guys have probably ever seen. I haven't seen anyone else talk about this besides me on the YouTube. But what you guys have to do is progress like decently far into your quests. So if you guys have progressed pretty far into your quest, what you guys want to do is go down to like the Hammond Park here. It'll show you guys the, Mo the Moss Point Maestro, Dream a Little Dream, and there's one more. It's the Robert Miles Park one, so there's three different ones. You guys can play up to 15 games like this. I believe you guys can also play a couple more. But you guys want to come over to one of these different parks, so you guys can see it in your, like, your different quests. So you guys have to progress through different ones. Once you guys get like the Moss Point Maestro right here, this quest, you guys can eventually get this right here. And it tells you guys to play a couple games with Tyler Hero at Moss Point. What this really is, is just park games, but it's with the computer. So it's really, really easy to get some badges super, super quick. So like right here, I've been focusing on shooting a lot. So I have 13 shooting badges. And I've been able to get like, if you guys do this all in like 30 minutes, you guys can get probably about 22,000 badge points in the span of 30, 30 minutes. So head over to one of these different courts. I'm going to go over to the Tyler Hero one right here. And I'll show you guys what we can do in order to get these defensive badge points. It's really, really simple to do. So pretty much you're going to talk to Tyler Hero. And he's going to hop into a game with you here. So there's actually a couple more too that you guys can do because I believe after you have to play a game first against Tyler Hero. And then that counts towards your badge points as well. And then you guys unlock five more that you guys can play with Tyler Hero. So that will get you guys another five games that you guys can play. But it's really, really simple because the difficulty is really, really low. All you have to do is really just steal the ball and get a bunch of rebounds. It's really easy to get steals and it's really easy to get rebounds in these games. I'll go ahead and show you guys here how easy it is to get shooting badges and all that. So if you guys don't really care about shooting badges, though, you guys can just sell on offense and just stack up like your defense and rebounding. So it's really easy to get steals here. Sometimes you guys will get obviously like bad steals. Like right there was a pretty bad steal, especially because my steals really, really low. But just try to get as many rebounds as you guys can and try to get as many steals as you guys can. But this really helps you guys get any badge in the game. This is how I've been getting a lot of shooting badges because it's super, super easy. So what I do is I do like kind of a, like the walk back. But if you guys are trying to get like playmaking badges, you guys can just do pick and rolls all the time. So if you guys don't know how to do pick and roll, it's holding down the L1 button. So it's usually really easy to do pick and rolls and all that. So we'll just try to get a shooting badge. Well, that was really, really bad. But just really try to get as many rebounds as you guys can. Right there, we couldn't get a rebound. They actually ended up scoring. But we're also going to try for shooting badges at the same time here. So I'll do the step back. There we go. That should be greened. Boom. And just I, I would just try to steal as much as you guys can on like kind of like on the inbound. So just try to get like good shot contests and all that. Anything that can really help your your defense rebounding. I don't know how we just made that shot. That was kind of some BS, but it is what it is. So just go ahead and try to do the step back again. So it's really the best for shooting, but you guys can also get a lot of defense and rebounding here because this is by far the best method in the entire game when it comes to any type of badges. And again, you guys can sell on purpose on offense if you guys don't care about shooting badges and just try to grab your own rebound on offense. So right here, we, we're, we're able to get a rebound right there, which is a couple hundred badge points. So really simple to do. We try to go ahead and get some more shooting badges, all that different stuff. And I sold again. But the higher your steal, obviously the easier it's going to be to steal the ball and all that. So my steal is like, I think still in the 20s. So I haven't upgraded my steal really at all. So just try to upgrade your steal if you guys are able to with the VC that you guys have. And then it'll make things a lot easier for you guys. And once you guys get your takeover as well, if you guys are making a bunch of shots, once you guys have like that uh, extreme clamps, if you guys have that, oh, it should be a rebound. Come on. Oh, the teammate took the rebound for me. No. Kind of sucks when that happens, because now, now you don't get any badge points for that. There's the walk back. That should be green, and it is. And now we have our takeover, which should make it, I believe, a little bit easier to get some of the steals. So we'll try it here. And we missed again. He actually had the ball in his other hand. <laughs> but try you guys his best to get 20 points, because once you guys get 20 points, you guys can shoot another three to get 23 points, if that makes sense, to win the game. And it'll make things a lot easier for you guys there. I just shot a completely tested ball there. Also, I believe there's not really any pressure if you guys lose this game either, because it just lets you try again if you do lose. So I don't think it's a really big issue at all if you guys lose these games. And right there, that should be ball game, and we have scored 23 points. Got quite a lot of three-pointers. I did miss some shots, but I think we should have gotten a decent amount of badge points. I think we definitely should have been in the 3,000s when it came to shooting. You guys can get, the max I've gone from shooting is probably about 4,000. So, but it's really good for shooting badges, but it is great for defense as well because it gets you guys a crap ton of badge points. So we had one rebound and that gave, that got us 500 badge points right there. So if you guys are trying to get your rounds or something, if you guys are a big man, this would be a lot easier for you guys because like what, what, pretty much one rebound, they get you guys 500 badge points. So that's huge. If you guys can get like six rebounds, that's a crap ton of badge points right there. So I'm personally though a shooter. So I was really just going for shooting badges right there. And that is a great way to really get some badge points for you guys. So something else I recommend doing is going to Brickley's gym. So I can't do this right now because I've, it's, it only allows you guys to do it twice a day. 
So, but Brickley's Gym gets you guys extra badge points. It's pretty much just the same team practice drills that you guys get for getting badge points. Except it gives you guys more badge points. So, that's over at Brickley's Gym. If you guys just go to the map and go down to court, you guys can go to Brickley's Gym right here. And that will get you guys some more badge points. However, there are a couple of different methods in order to get you guys some more badge points. So after every single NBA game, you guys can head over to the team practice. And team practice can get you guys quite a lot of badge points. So let's head over to the team practice right now. and talk about a, and talk, We'll talk about another badge method right here. Once in a while, there will be a coach pretty much at mid-court that you guys can talk to. And we'll get you guys some team girls and all that different stuff. But just go ahead and click on uh, B if you guys are on Xbox. And do like these drills. So like there's four drills remaining after every single game. You guys can go to the team practice and do four drills. So there's, there's some for finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, all that different stuff. If you guys are not new to 2K, you guys obviously know what this is. But there's a couple defense and rebounding drills that are really, really easy to do. So there's 2-9, protect the 10, lockdown, pick reaction, gauntlet rebound, charge, help and recover, gauntlet rebounding, all that different stuff. And there's different, pretty much difficulty points for whatever you guys do. So if you guys do a hard one right here, there's three different ones right here. You guys get 1,300 stars if you guys get three stars. So just find the ones that are really good for you. You guys don't have to choose them. You guys can see what the breakdowns are if you guys click on them right here. So like 2-9, we'll see what this one is. It says the defender will start under the basket and close out either wing or corner, play with the ball, get as many stops as you guys can in 10 positions. possessions. It's probably gonna be really bad, but let's try it right here. So he's gonna go to the wing. So I guess we just have to stop him right here. My defense is really, really bad on my guy and we allow to score. But assuming you guys have better defense than me, you guys will probably be in a much better spot because my guy is like literally 6'2". So I'm not going to be stopping too much on defense. So just find a really good drill for you guys pretty much. Yeah, Pat is about to destroy me. Yeah. My best guess if you guys are smaller like me is just try to go for the steal. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, we got one defensive stop. So let's really just try to find the one that's easiest for you guys though. So like this one is not going well for me and I probably will not do this one again. Yeah, it's safe to say that this one did not go the best and that I would not recommend doing this one if you guys are a 6'2 guard with no defensive attributes. So just try to find the ones that are best for you guys, obviously. It's going to be different between guards and big men and all that different stuff. So if you guys are trying to grind these, pick the one that's really just best for you guys. We're going to try this one right here. It's called Lockdown. By the way, I usually recommend doing all the hard difficulty ones and just find one that's really, really easy to do so that way you guys get three stars. So you guys are the on-ball defender, really, to put me against Brooke Lopez. So I'm just spamming the steal button pretty much, trying my best to get a steal. And usually they'll actually let you guys reach in sometimes. So we'll see if he hits that, man. No, yeah. They patch the post hooks. So I'm just pretty much spamming the steal button. Obviously, Brooke Lopez, though, is going to absolutely body me. So this is definitely more for big men. Oh, here we go. We have Grayson and Allen, though. And he still just went right past me. That one didn't go great either. We only got three on that one. So... 30% on that one. So just try to find easy ones. Obviously, if you guys are smaller like me and just want to get a decent amount of stars, I'd try for one of the easier ones probably. That's probably the best route to take. So it's just really hard for guards, but I'm assuming most of you guys are probably big men watching this video. So you guys could probably do a lot better than a small ass guard would in some of these different drills. But those are pretty much the three main methods that I would do in order to get some really easy badge points, especially the one that I talked about first. Definitely the best badge method in the entire game. So there's a couple different badges though that you guys can go with depending on if you guys are a guard or a big man, all that different stuff. Let me know what your favorite badges are in the game. Let's do a little bit of badge talk here. Personally, I like Menace a lot on defense as a guard. So, but you guys can also do like off ball pass isn't too bad either, I don't think. You guys do have to hit certain attributes though. Like right here, you have to have perimeter defense at 87 if you guys are a guard like me. So eventually when I get, I will end up putting Hall of Fame Menace on here as a guard, but just let me know your position down in the comments below if you guys are a big man or if you guys are a guard or a forward or whatever and what you guys like running on defense and rebounding all that different stuff man so i'm trying to get clamps as well i definitely used a, a lot of my uh, badge points i got from the like welcome to the league mission on those quests and i was able to uh, eventually get a couple of these and i'm going to start putting them on i think i'm going to get bronze uh, clamps on him right here i think it's probably a good route to take i could have done one more though and got the silver if i wanted to but I think I'm gonna run with Hall of Fame Menace, go with Bronze Clamps and, you know, throw some stuff on, I think, off-ball pest and just call it good on defense for as a guard. Uh, but let me know what else I should do. Uh, let me know what uh, other people should do. If you guys are a big man, let me know what you guys are running with on defense and rebounding. And if you guys want, let me know your playmaking badges, your shooting, your finishing. Just let me know the best badges in the game. I'm definitely gonna release some videos, though, talking about the best badges in the game for shooting, playmaking, defense, and finishing. So definitely stick around and subscribe to the channel. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel right here for some more NBA 2K23 tips. We are so close to 16,000 subscribers. And check out this video up here that YouTube has recommended for you. They know that you'll love it. That's why they recommended it for you. So give it a watch.